Ain't too many things I ain't done yet. I'm the king of this shit. Crown by the toilet. I'm just barely getting. What's up, everybody? It's y'all. Boy, Fat Dollars bringing you some Lockdown Madden 18 tips. Today, we're going to go over how to use her better as far as locking down the run, containing the run. You know the run is very OP. And if y'all like tips like this, make sure y'all hit that like button. 25 likes will let me know that y'all want more and more tips. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Make sure you check your notifications at least once a week so you don't miss an upload. We're going to come out in the Tampa 2. And the first thing that we're going to do is the inside zone that everybody likes to run. Gun trips, tight end flex type of look. So first thing you want to do when you break the huddle, you see that running back is on the right of the quarterback. First thing I like to do is... I like to push wild or triangle and down, play underneath. That's going to make any yellow that you got on the field more aggressive. He'll be able to play drags way better and all that. Now, you need to know your quick adjustments. So, wild, wild or triangle, triangle brings up the secondary. Now, R1 two times or RB brings up your linebackers. That's keys. That's something that you need to practice. So, we play underneath that put hard flats on the field that also turns your yellows into hard flats so they can play the drags they will play more aggressive about three to four or five yards off the line of scrimmage compared to dropping all the way back here as soon as they hike the ball so that's a key tip for y'all now as soon as you break the huddle and you see that running back on the right side you want to automatically shift your line to that left over there now look at the blitzer angles on them they coming back toward the running back you want to crash them down which is lb or l1 and down you want to fill the gaps with all these big boys right here now if you think that it's a run like uh third and one or they've been running the ball a lot you can just put him in the blitzer angle right here and move him up now he gonna fall, go right there behind the running back shooting gap this is if you don't want to put a deep blue on the field and you want to stop the run you can have the deep blue right away and the yellows will play underneath and you will be able to be responsibility for the running back if it's a, a flat right here or anything back right here but for this right here we're gonna blitz him because I like to be aggressive and let people know they cannot run the ball so after you got that set up right there you want to bring this guy who usually way over here up a little bit about to this line do not run the ball that is what you're telling your opponent do not run the ball unless he runs a trap which will make this guy pull you will be able to shoot the gap way faster anyway than that big old lineman so we're gonna sit right here and we want to make him not be able to bounce to the outside look at that everything is shut down just by how I move my line as soon as you come out to the left and down now you can move people around all you want to you can put him right here He'll shoot the gap that way. You can put him right here. He'll shoot the gap straight down. But I like to have him about right here because I want to make sure nobody can cut back. And I sit right here on this hash mark. This is what I will turn my 3 4 to. I want to fill up everything. Big hits. Might get a fumble, but they will not be able to run the ball. Shift to the left, crash down. Big boy is right there in the middle. I like to take him because you can put him in the deep blue or you can blitz him. It's all up to you. I sit about right here where the line at and I just want anything that might be a spin move to come back around or anything but first he got to get past the big boy and you see what he is doing to the center one-on-one -on -one. you see what the big boy is doing to the center one-on-one -on -one. as soon as he hiked the ball you was looking just to fill boom you looking to just fill up anything the big boy got there but I was right there too you don't want to over pursue because that gives you enough chance to see if it's a play action or not and that's a key they give you enough time to see if it's a play action or not. Like I said, one yards or no yards. Two yards sometimes depending on the animation. But it's key because he don't know if it's a deep blue or not. You might have him in a deep blue one time. And then you might have him in that blitz angle another time. And then look, you can either man him up because you know it's a blitz coming right there and really your responsibility is it look like you've been stopping the run. Really, you about to jump right here for all these type of routes. So we're going to set that up again a couple more times. I'm going to let you see. He's stuck behind the lineman. He picked up a couple yards that time. I got stuck behind the big underneath. Put them back in clouds with your quick adjustments. And you didn't even got to go over each person like this. I did all that. 
We're gonna come out in our base play. I'm gonna show you how fast you can do it. Look, we're gonna go back in our base play. We ain't gonna base a line. We're gonna shift the line. We're gonna crash out. We're gonna QB contain. We're gonna play underneath, turn them into hard flats, push the buttons, turn them back into that. Look at that. We got clouds back on the field. Push it two times, A, back up into that. It just takes a little bit of practice. Now you can even get real glitchy, put him in a spot. You wanna put him in the same type of look like the run stopping, and now you got that. Bring him up here. Now he gotta find a way to pass the ball. You gotta find a way to pass the ball. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. You seen that guy for two or three steps, stepped in on the tight end coming across because I hard fled it. So the yellows play more aggressive. Look at this. Look at this. I step over one or two steps for the tight end, the running back. This guy dropped right back down on the running back. So that would have been a two yard gain if you would have threw it, even a big hit. Look at how the linebackers are playing. I dropped off for two seconds. Now let him go into a whole nother zone. Look how he playing underneath the zone. Look how he ran down on the zone. Because I play underneath. Look how he ran down. Look at this. Look how aggressive he is playing now. Look. Bumped him. Bumped him. Playing underneath. He's coming right down to the ball. Coming right down to the ball. So like I said, shift line. Crash out. Put them back in clouds. Deep blue him. Whole play is set up. Before he even get to the line of scrimmage, whole play is set up. Now you just sit there. You let people play their zone. Now he had to pass it late for a negative. He got negative yards on that, bro. He got negative yards. Look, we're going we gonna to zone all linebackers. Now we're going to put them back up in their clouds. Keep them right here. Sometimes you got to manually move people. It's okay. Now we're going to sit there, let them hike the ball. Watch how aggressive the linebackers play. Linebackers is all over the place. Look at that. Nowhere to throw. Nowhere to throw. It took him 30 seconds to get that open. Now, most people would have made a bad read, forced it into something, but everything on the field was locked down originally. And that's because I didn't send no pressure to him. I was playing coverage right there. But look at how good the zone's playing by me playing underneath. Look at the linebacker right here. This linebacker is not dropping dropping back right away. This linebacker is playing aggressive on the line. Look at this. He's going two to three steps at a time. Look at this. Jumping right back on that route. Everybody, look at these people. Look, they waiting. They waiting for drags. Bumping them, playing aggressive. Right back on that route. I got you. I got you. They jumping anything in front of them for the picks. Now, my responsibility, look at this. I follow the tight end. Pass him off. He dropped down. I went back because I'm trying to come underneath this route. Throw the ball. I'm going to jump that. That's how much. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody is playing exactly how they're supposed to play, man. To get rid of the ball so fast. He has to get rid of the ball so fast, bro. Take away a rope. Hold him. Take away a rope. Throw it. Throw it. Look at that. Cover set. Cover set. Spray your line. Crash out. Cover sack, then you get that blitzer over there. Bump him. Look at that. He throwing it right to the line of scrimmage because I'm playing underneath. Right here, we're gonna play underneath. We're gonna recloud them with the quick adjustments. We're gonna shift line, spread the line, crash him out, put him back over the top of the center right here, and we're gonna step back. Now you could bump him. Take away that route originally. Look at look at that. Another coverage sack. If y'all enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. I got more tips for y'all. It's all love. Let's go.